and we're back with Pokemon. So, for this part, you're going to have to sneak up on Bonsly. If you run, Bonsly will uh, get scared or something. Something happens. But, uh, take your time trying to get to him. And when you're close enough, you'll be able to grab... Just kidding, your, e your PDA goes off with an email startling Bonsai and making it run away. Bonsai and making it run away. Did I say Bonsai? Bonsai? And, of course, it's Akari, who we met when, uh, we... When we first went to Gadian Port with, uh... With, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh... Forgot my own sister's name, huh? Well, I'm kind of role-playing as Michael right there, but hey. Anyway, there's a Luxury Ball there, and I wasn't paying attention to what Bonsly dropped behind. Oh, man, this Flamethrower. Ooh, do I want to teach that to... I don't know if I wanted to teach that to Houndoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Forgot I did this. Sweet! Alright, Houndoom now knows Flamethrower. It's a force to be reckoned with. I don't remember why I uh, held off on Brick Break. I think it's because Breloom already knew it. Don't remember. That or it knew it through le or can know it through leveling up. Something along those lines. I don't know. But, uh, now we just gotta head back and try and find Bonsly again. And if that doesn't work, you know report in mission failure. Oh, hey, how was it? Is there anything down there? Walking up very slowly. Describe the Pokemon deep in the ship's hall. Pokemon, a girl asks you to find you. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? I'm surely indebted. And there he goes again. The music in this place doesn't make the atmosphere any more welcoming. Not to mention the dude, the worker dude, is not that... He's totally not creepy at all. I mean, I mean, hey. Now, if, unless I'm misplacing my... No, I'm not. Okay. I just looked ahead in the editing window. And look who it is. Hello. Hold it. No one gets past here. So these guys might look familiar to those who played Coliseum. I'm Joaquin, the Team Snagum. Wouldn't hurt you to forget that name either. Silence! Huh? Don't know a clue about who Team Snagum is. That's alright, we get to back to snagging Pokemon. And we do that by using your snag machine. Whoops, no, you're a great battler. Gloom, release your sleep powder. And with that, we've been put to sleep. Ow! Ha! <laughs> the snag machine is mine! Quick, let's get back to the hideout. Aye. I have been watching too much fairy tale, so as soon as Joaquin said aye, I thought of happy. But... Oh my god, Michael looks a lot like Natsu. <laughs> I just thought of that. Anyway, yeah, they they ripped our snag machine off. And we're back at the uh, creepy old workers... Creepy workers place again. Weren't they Team Snagum? Team Snagum is a bunch of crooks and... Th and thug. So, now we have another rival, uh, not rival, we have another criminal syndicate to deal with. I think he was talking about, uh, the Cypher Lab and not Team Snagum's hideout right there. Could be wrong. I think we'll check that out later. I believe at this point in the recording I was gonna go back to Finac to report into, uh, to Net. I think I was looking here at the at the cave poke spot. Oh yeah, I was. Who was I fighting? Oh, looks like a Zubat. Um, might as well just cut that out then. So I'll meet you guys back wherever I'm gonna head at, head off to next. I thought Michael was submerged in the sand there. Whatever. Cave poke spot. Fighting a Zubat. Cutting it out. I actually didn't cut the the uh, video before starting recording, so whatever. I'm just trying to commentate this to get this frickin' one-year-old footage off of my com off of my co off of my commentary. Wow, I can't speak off of my hard drive. Just because it's been there the entire time, I don't want to risk losing it forever and whatever. But hey, 
This is the Cypher Key Lair, and there's Zook, who we bumped into at the, uh, at Gadian Port. If you remember right, he has a Zangus. Ow! Dashing Mr. Zook, Mr. Zoot a thug? Team Snag and Biden would like to battle. Does that mean we get to play a Zoot? Or Zook? Biden has an Oddish, and Joaquin has a Gloom. Go figure. Alright, so there's a Zangoose. And it's a Shadow Zangoose. Now, we're able to tell that it's a Shadow Zangoose because we still have our Scouter on us. But, Team Snagum uh, ripped off our entire Snag Machine. So, unfortunately, we're able to see the Shadow Pokemon, but we're not able to do anything about them. Because we can't actually throw regular Pokeballs at uh, any Pokemon. Pull back and regroup. Run! Hi, Zook. How's it hanging? Not running off with them? You got guts. Huh? Foot stomp. No? Wait a second, you're that brat gate in port. He made me stand guard here as punishment. Oh, there he goes. This time I'll flatten you. Alright, so now we got to battle Zook. And knowing he has a shadow Z Zangoose that we can't do anything about, we're going to have to pass up on trying to snag it. But we'll have to just take him out the old-fashioned way and just defeat all his Pokemon. We'll have another instance of this uh, not being able to snag a Shadow Pokemon in a fairly short while. So, uh, yeah, we're not really able to do anything about these. Kind of sad, but at the same time, whatever. It was bound to happen one of these days. Team snag him just out of the blue. Bam! Snag machine. It's ours now. Sucker. Now, I still don't know what level Baltoy falls at. I think it's at level, like, 32? 36? Something like that. Don't attack Amph. Don't attack... Oh, it did attack Amph, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Well, shit. There goes my only decent way of attacking Dodo. Why would I go with Brainloom? Oh, yeah, Zangoose. Mock Punch. Durr. Oh, yeah, and Clay had rock types. <laughs> Man, I am out of it. Why did I use Mega Drain? Do I not have Mock Punch? Or did I forget? I think I was cursing at this point if I did forget. Do -do 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 -do. Bam! Oh, shit. Ow. 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 Ancient Power! Raise the stats. Oh. Don't hit. Okay, thank you. Yeep! Never mind. Yep, Shadow Zangoose. Very powerful. Considering all its attacks are going to be super effective against you if you're not using a Shadow Pokemon. And considering the fact that uh, Zangoose has stupidly high attack. Yeah, you're not going to be dealing much damage. Or, you're not going to be withstanding many hits from it. Pack on Breloom, I am assuming. Yep, there goes Breloom. So he's knocked out three of my Pokemon already. Send out Aeron for no reason. Now, I forget if I... I don't think, if that's the case, that since it's attacking first, I don't think I still have the Macho Brace equipped to it. So, yeah. Whatever. Carvenha. Carvenha is a water dark type who specializes in physical attacks. So its type is kind of screwed because of the, uh, because of its type. Well, no, that made no sense. Its um, its attacks and its stats don't benefit its type, or the or vice versa. So yeah, Carvenha is not that great of an attacker in Generation Three. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, uh, Sharpedo does have pretty good uh, special attack as well. It's just that it's more versed in the physical attack stat. Okay, even right there, Zangoose's attack stat is nothing to laugh at. I mean, look at that. It just took... I rhymed a bunch of times on that sentence. Eon was taken down to less than half health in a single shot. Don't mess with Zangoose. Take it out as quick as possible. Don't flinch again. Don't flinch again. Thank you. Alright, taking out Zangoose, because that thing is going to be a pain otherwise. 
I also find it interesting that how that's a female Zangoose. I think the gender ratio for Zangoose is uh, 72.5 to... Uh, no, was it... Crap, what are the actual percentages? Isn't it like 72.5 to 12? No, that doesn't add up. Um... To 17.5? Something like that. Uh, male to female ratio. He also has a Viper, which is funny. Because uh, Viper and Zangoose are mortal enemies. Oh, really? Wow. Ron is not doing too well against this Carvin, huh? In fact, it has... I was going to say it has more health than Eon, but comparatively... Well, comparatively it does, but amount-wise, not so much. What was I going for here? Oh yeah, energy... Wait, what? I guess it's because I didn't want to use another Hyper Potion, but... I mean, it's the same thing, it's just that it lowers uh, friendship. Don't flinch again. Yeah, I think at this point I was trying to take out Carvinha the most. Because it was resisting most of my attacks. And, um, versus Hound, I think that would, um... You know, I don't know. Never mind. Relicanth. Relicanth is a water rock type. Uh, very defensive. Pretty decent uh, attack stat as well. Relicanth is also required in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald uh, for unlocking the Reggie uh, caverns. As in, uh, go to the sealed chamber, uh, bring Relicanth and Waylord, uh, rearrange them in your party somewhat, and there you go. You've unlocked the, uh, the ability to go after the Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. So Zook has wiped out four of my six Pokemon. Yeah. Now if Eon can't take out uh, Relicanth as quickly... Never mind. Critical hit. Whatever. So now it's just the Viper we gotta worry about. Or had to worry about, considering one-year-old footage! Dur -dur -dur. Flamethrower! Let's do it! Ah, uh, woohoo! Um, can't pitch my voice very well. Look at that damage. That is beautiful. Oh man, Hound Doom is gonna be one hit, sh one shot hit, one kit, one f one hit faint, whatever. Gonna be dealing a lot of damage and fast in the near future. Come on, hit A. There you go. Eon grew to level 29. Hound is already level 29. It's a level ahead. Or about a half of an experience bar ahead. But, de, ge, zook, loss. De. Just some kid, how could I, the mighty zook? Because you flew, I won't battle you again. He's a terrible guard if he's not going to battle again. A sec of OMBS. Oh boy, we got to go back to OMBS. Got to confront the little girl and the old man about the lost bond sly. Gah. Don't wanna do it, man. I don't wanna. Do 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 worth it for the music. Do 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 boom. It'll be a lot easier to cut this stuff out later when I do it in live commentary. I'm just too lazy to do it right now. Could just speed it up or just say, Hey, I'm going back to sec. Nope. Oh, great. Wasting even more time right here with the Pokemon healing machine. This is a boring Let's Play to watch. Why even watching it? I'm tossing a hacky sack around right now. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 do. Oh right, something about Bonsly, right? Um, Bonsly is uh, looking for food, so logical spot would, or logical place to find it would be the Poke Spots. So just leave uh, just leave some food for it at one of the Poke Spots, and then go back there later. And there you go, you got Bonsly back. And the faintest idea. All right, so it's gonna show up at a Poke Spot later on. Uh, and it's coming to the end of the recording. Might as well just cut it here and uh, switch over to the next part to commentate. So, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This is Bloody Geek, and I'll see you guys later.